Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at natural language processing as well as looking at the classifier for our naive bays uh, utilizing the SMS uh, spam detection data set. So let's get started. So first off, let me go on and put up uh, some notes here. So we are doing uh, NLP uh, with naive bays. Uh, and this is again, um, and this is going to be again with PySpark. So um, let's go on and from PySpark.sql uh, import our Spark session. And then we're going to set up a Spark session. And we'll call this um, NLP NB for naive bays. We get or create the model. Let's create up our data frame. Uh, and this is going to be uh, spark.read.csv. And I have in here um, our SMS. And what was what was it called? Uh, spam uh, collection uh, in first schema. Is true. And uh, this one actually has a separator in here of a tab. And actually, let me go on and show you guys what that looks like. So let's look at the head of SMS spam collection. So you can see here that it has this classifying. It does not have a header. So that's why, again, I'm, I'm skipping this uh, header is true down here. Um, we have <clears throat> first is going to be kind of the label. It's going to be either ham or spam. Um, and then again here, it has whatever this uh, text message, SMS text message is in here. Uh, and we'll try our best to figure out whether it is ham or spam. So with, with that started, let's go on and actually grab the data. Up. There we go. And so um, since we actually looked at the data here, we don't need to look at it again. Um, but let's create a new data frame in here. Um, or will we actually just need to uh, label everything. So with, uh, you know what? Let's see what it actually looks like here. Yeah, notice here it gives us these weird names of um, underscore uh, C0. Um, so it's basically column 0, column 1. Um, Again, I don't like that. So let's go on and actually uh, clean them up to change the names. So df dot is equal to df dot with uh, column renamed here, and we want uh, underscore c zero. Uh, we want this to be, uh, we'll call it the class, and then we also again want to say with column renamed in here and we want underscore c1 1 uh, to be text so <clears throat> now we need to go on and clean the data so from pyspark.sql uh, dot functions import length and then we are going to create a link. So df dot with column. Here uh, we want to call it length in here, and it's going to be the length of um, our data frame text. And so this is going to be basically the raw length of the data that's including uh, 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 spaces, uh, periods, commas, etc. In here and again so now you can see we have the length in here uh, now let's also maybe look at um, again we are we know we actually know how they are classified um, so assume that maybe you already have this pre-classified data set that you're wanting to play with and you're going to tr this is going to be your training data set so let's actually go on and look at the difference between our spam and ham so we want to group by here class 
Uh, and let's grab the mean of these. And let's see the difference between spam and ham. And you can definitely tell here, okay? Um, spam is significantly longer than ham, so we need to make sure and um, uh, take this into account, okay? So probably if we just use this feature itself, we would probably do pretty decent on our classifier because there is such a difference. Um, <clears throat> but let's maybe look at maybe also removing stop words. Let's, let's do a full a full fledged um, project on this. So we want our feature transformation. So from pyspark.ml.feature feature, we want to import a tokenizer. We want the stop word removal. Uh, we want a count vectorizer. We also want a string indexer. So our tokenizer in here is a tokenizer. Input column here is text. Our output column here is going to be a token of the text. Then we want to uh, stop remove or let's do stop word. Um, I like the whole thing. Remover in here, and so that's stop word removal. Uh, and we want our input column. In here is going to be our token text. Uh, and then we want our output column. In here is to be uh, stop tokens. Then let's do another one. So our count vector is going to be our count vectorizer in here. And we want our input column, okay, is to be stop tokens. Our output column in here is going to be our C vec. Then we want our IDF. Again, we're doing we're doing the whole the whole thing in here. Okay, so it's going to be, oh, and you know what, we did not import our, our IDF. So our inverse document frequency, uh, IDF in here is going to be our input column. And again, instead of this count vec, you could have done um, <clears throat> uh, hash document frequency, hashing document frequency, if you wanted to, but we'll just use the count vec in this instance. Um, so we want in here our input column is our CVEC and then we want our output column here is going to be TF IDF and then we want ham spam to numeric and this is going to be a string indexer in here and our input column our input column here is going to be class our output column is going to be called label. So notice here we did we had a huge uh, a huge amount of uh, feature uh, uh, model creation, okay, beforehand. So then the next thing is we want to have a basically we'll just call it cleaned. And uh, we actually before this let's actually go from PySpark.ml dot feature in here and we want to import our vector assembler and then from PySpark dot uh, ML dot linear algebra we want to import our uh, vector uh, so our clean data is going to be our vector assembler in here and we have our inputs uh, our input columns here are actually going to be TF, TF IDF, and we want to do also the word length in here, uh, and our output column. Column in here is going to be features. So from PySpark, oh, and this is where we actually start to do our model in here. And this is the naive base. 
Okay, and again, right now we're only instantiating the models. We are uh, creating our assemblers. All of these, all of this whole thing in here, let me be clear about this. Okay, we're not actually running anything yet. We are creating assemblers and uh, features. Okay, and it, we're not even we're not even even running them yet. Okay, we're just saying this is what we want to do in the future. In a minute, we're going to create and put all these together inside of a pipeline. Um, but we do them kind of. I like to do them in this nice um, <clears throat> format here. So, for example, I know that once I create uh, the tokenizer in here with the input text, token text here is going to be equal to token text here then that's creating the stop words which is feeding into the count vector which creates a count vector which feeds into the IDF and then our which creates a TF IDF and then we have again our spam to ham uh, is going to be doing that as well so and then next we do our vectorizer so now the next portion of this that we need is the actual model itself for our naive bays So we want naive bays, and uh, we're just going to use the defaults in here. So now let's actually go on and create up our pipeline. So from pyspark.ml, uh, whoops, we want to import pipeline. And now let's actually go on and build out our pipeline with our stages. So um, let's call this pipeline. And so we have our stages here, stages. And this takes in a list. <coughs> okay. And so let's actually do this as we want our ham spam to numeric. We want our tokenizer. We want our uh, stop word remover. We want our count vector. Uh, we want our IDF. Uh, and then we want our cleaned data or our cleanup. Did I call that cleaned? Yeah, maybe I, maybe it would have been better to call it clean uh, clean up, but we'll just call it cleaned. This creates our um, our full pipeline, and so then now we have um, our our cleaner in here is going to be our pipeline dot fit on our data frame. Um, and what do we actually call it? I want to make sure that I call the data frame. It's been a while. Yep. Okay. So we still call the data frame. Uh, so the next portion, let's run the fit for the cleaner, and let's look at um, our. We want to uh, do a clean. Well, let's call this clean DF, uh, and it's going to be our cleaner dot transform in here on our data frame and then again you could have done this by saying uh, with a dot transform here and just done everything in one line but let's keep everything as um, <clears throat> compartmentalized as possible in case there is any issues so now let's actually do our training and evaluation so here we have our our clean data frame and we actually are going to uh, split this up so clean a data frame dot select here and I want the label and I want the features and you know what let me before we go any further let me go in and actually show you the cleaned the clean data frame already so you can see how much we actually created so notice in here we we had our text we have our classes then that created this label for us, okay, so the classes to the label created our uh, numerical, our string indexers. Then we have our tokens. Then we got rid of all of our stop words, okay. Then we created our count vector, our uh, uh, our TF IDF, so our inverse document frequencies are done as well. And then we have actually our feature creation. So let's go on 
and grab just what we want. So we want just the label and we want the features. So uh, let's uh, actually do a train test split on here. Um, and we'll do a random split and uh, we'll do this on our standards of 70% and 30% with our seed set to 42. And uh, let's create a prediction. So our prediction in here is we want to predict whether it's spam or not. Uh, and let's take a look at um, our results as well. And again, this may take a little bit of time to run. Transform on our test data. Uh, and then let's go on and actually, I'm going to just skip, well, let me just show you the results real quick. And so here you can see our predictions uh, and with our actual labels in here. So we can actually calculate up um, how we did. So let's actually calculate up the accuracy of the model. So from uh, pyspark.ml.evaluation, we want our multi, uh, multi-class classifier evaluator, uh, or classification evaluator, uh, and then let's create our our eval in here, our evaluator. We're going to instantiate it. We want to grab the accuracy, so um, it's going to be eval dot evaluate. And we want this on our results. And we'll have to print in here. Uh, let's use an F string accuracy. Uh, and from our accuracy, we want accuracy uh, multiplied by 100. Okay, so we see here that our accuracy is hovering around 93%, 92%. Um, it's really not bad, um, uh, considering we basically just went from taking our data and going directly into our, uh, class, uh, our classifiers. We didn't use anything else. Um, I would highly suggest you guys go through and try this. This is just a naive Bayes model. Try using maybe a random forest, some decision trees, maybe even a logistic regression. Uh, and see if you can maybe bump up this accuracy. Again, guys, if you like this, please comment, subscribe, and click that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.